Have you ever looked up at an almost cloudless blue sky and wondered at the expanse above you? Well, on a day like today here in Tennessee, it's easy to notice. There's nothing but grass and trees and a blue sky. The air around us is transparent, so invisible that it's easy to forget that it's even there. But somehow in the sunshine, it turns blue. So what's going on? Why blue? Physics gives us some fascinating answers. So if we're standing on the moon with no atmosphere, well, the sun would be beating down on us while the heavens would still be dark as night. But even though the nitrogen, oxygen, and other elements of Earth's air are invisible, they do have substance, which causes the light to scatter in different directions, some colors more than others. So red light has the longest waves of the visible spectrum, and it pushes through the atmosphere the best. That's why red is that last color that you see fading from a beautiful sunset. But blue has the shortest waves, and it gets easily scattered around, bouncing off of air molecules, and it causes the sky to glow, even from above. That's pretty cool, right? So physics tells us what is happening, but there are questions that science alone can't answer. Why blue? Well, if we believe that the firmament is the Lord's handiwork, that's what King David said in the book of Psalms, well, then let's explore what our Creator may have been thinking. Blue is one of the rarer colors in the natural world. Most things on Earth's surface are shades of brown and green, but more people claim blue is their favorite color than any other color in the spectrum. Even many who are colorblind can still see shades of blue. There's something refreshing about looking heavenward and seeing a different color scheme from the world at our feet. In the book of Exodus, God had the Israelites use blue as one of the colors for His tabernacle. Now, there's one last thing that we can only experience because God chose to give us a blue sky. Next time you stare up on a clear day, pay attention to the tiny white flashes that sometimes float across your vision. Those specks are actually caused by single white blood cells passing through capillaries in your retina. Red blood cells absorb blue light and your brain compensates for their shadows automatically. But you see, the blue light shines through the white cells, allowing us to actually see hints of our body's cells without needing any special equipment. We have reminders of God's creation everywhere we look. Now, go out and find yourself a blue sky. I'm David Reeves. Truly, the heavens declare the glory of God. Like what you're seeing? Want more? Be sure to hit the subscribe button to be notified as soon as we put up new videos and content.